through my experience dealing with the, with the fitness fitness industry, you know, um, the knowledge and misinformation is like it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. So um, we are always looking for for somebody who can spread the message, yeah. but not on the message of like, okay, this is the new hype, this is new, sure. you know, new fashion for uh, you yeah. know for those kind of sports or those kind of like, oh, we don't eat fat because you know. Uh, because the fat and it's it's bad for you, anything like mm -hmm. this, or you know, is the beef uh, calorie restricted or it's or some people they just go for a, I don't know, it's like a lion diet when it's like just one one meal a day <laughs> and it's when it's their goal of exercise yeah. it's totally, totally different. So sure. you can give them all this guidance for them from A to Z. Yes? Sure, sure, yeah. sure. I mean we we, we what we do at Beyond the Quantics, you know I'm a scientist, we back mm -hmm. everything up, up with like very good quality peer review studies you know, with mm -hmm. substantial report from these. Um, so yeah, um, whatever we say, I can give you the papers for it, you know. And I think that's really important. And that's you know, science, uh, you know, although it has its limitations of course, mm -hmm. but it's, it's the best path we've got towards knowledge, to know yeah. about ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, tradition, guesswork, anything that gets there, you know, following you know, one particular athlete, what he does, isn't really going to get you there. There's lots of very individual people mm -hmm. out there, and if he's at the top of his game, he probably is a very special, you know, mm -hmm. physiological freak. He's doing something different. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Exactly. So, yeah, it's so all about you, what works for you, what can mm -hmm. you tell from the science that's going to better inform you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, so right now you are here in Hong Kong. You have your own team, people? Because you mentioned Hong Kong, Singapore, yeah, how many people do you guys have right now? Um, we're probably loosely around 18, 20 people. Wow, nice. Yeah, we're so, if, um, if you're looking for um, for your team members, uh, how you select those? Because yeah. they're kind of like extension of you. Sure, sure. I think I think I project something on myself onto this as well. I mean, for me, it's about the culture in mm -hmm. the place. Of course, you want the best people. But you can get some really good people that just don't fit very well with your mm -hmm. team. Everybody's get or get on. You know, beyond the quantics, we don't have any sort of hierarchy. You know, anybody can tell me mm -hmm. I'm wrong. I want people <laughs> to tell me I'm wrong. You know, and that's the same. And you know, we operate. I'm always trying to reinforce a, a, a family environment. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all looking after each other. You know. Um, and that's really important, you know, we're very transparent actually, um, you know, everybody knows everybody else's business, mm -hmm. you know, but we're very open with our salary structure and, and the rest of it. And, oh, yeah, yeah, projection, invested interest as well. Projection of the growth? Sure, what is sure. Your, what is your projection of growth? Um, I mean, it, yeah, <laughs> big, um, no, um, I mean, so, I mean, we're, 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 sure, sure. I mean, we're, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, quite, you know, growing 10% a month mm -hmm. uh, at least. Um, but the big thing for Beyond the Quantics, I mean, we're talking about products and whatever uh, products. Um, I mean, we're still building our mm -hmm. product in yeah. a way. We're in a beta kind of phase at the moment. So, our big product is going to be our platform, um, it's going to be an app. Mm -hmm. I always say, you know, the app's going to resemble something like Facebook, but it's your physiology. Yeah. This is going to be your physiology mm -hmm. talking to you and you talking to your physiology. Mm -hmm. So we can take all these biomarkers that we're collecting information on, we can enter them, you'll get driven into the app and using information from your vitamins, your yeah, nutrients, your gut, blah, blah, blah. It will drive and it will tailor your training program mm -hmm. within there. Of course, you can go in and move things around, but yeah. it understands, you know, what sports you do. What things you like to do, what you would be oh, prepared to do, know. and it will do it amazing. And it's going to do the same, similar, sort of thing, similar sort of thing with your diet as well. We already make the meals. We've got a huge database of very specific, very tailored meals. So it will throw them all in. It'll even tell you, be honest, transparent. So you know, we're even transparent. We'll tell you how to make the meal. Mm -hmm. We know it's difficult, we know there's yeah. a lot involved, there's a lot of weighing, it's precise oh, yes. to the ground. So we can tell you how to make it, if you want to try mm -hmm. and make it at home, you go for it, you go for it, you know, we want this, this is yours. So it's really like a, yeah, this is a... Um, so 2017 will be a launch of the app? Sure, sure, yes. yeah, we've got, we got a few months away, but it's, it's close and we're getting there, we've got a great, um, you know, design house and tech team supporting us, we've got, you know, got a great internal team as well. So I mean that's the thing, you know, it's providing this education resources, mm -hmm. providing this thing that's gonna 
aid you to get mm. where you need to go. It's going to tell you about you. Yeah, this is what they say about this no. kind of aging, like the healthy yeah. aging. Sure, sure. And it's exactly that as well. It's very close to related to preventive medicine. We can, by tracking your vitamin D levels, your magnesium levels, your zinc, or mm. various inflammation biomarkers, we can stop you with the interventions we suggest, like getting sick before you do. We can mm. recognize when you're going to get sick. Wow. A lot of time with like being sick, it, it requires a shift of these markers yeah. mm -hmm. for a good amount of time into the wrong zone. But we're gonna cap, we can catch that and bring it back. You know, vitamin D. Yeah, and I mean, even the medical world's becoming much more switched on. Preventative yeah, medicine say the is, 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 <laughs> the, is the future. Yeah, you know, yeah. If, you know, if governments can or you know, national health organisations can stop people being sick before they become mm -hmm. sick with. Basic, just good lifestyle habits. You know, eat dietary advice I'm, I'm and understanding there, themselves, being educated about their bodies. It saves everybody money. It saves mm -hmm. you money. You know, it's just doing things smarter. Mm -hmm. You know, as well as you know, not taking this supplement because he's doing it or that. You know, like we're, we can really refine the supplements for you as well. So you're not just wasting your money. Supplements can be really expensive, and we give you the ones that you need. And exactly. we'll, we'll tell you when you have reached the optimal level. Mm -hmm. And doing that, we can. You know, we identify exactly how much you need, so you're not getting too much or too little. So do you think it's some, so in some areas people are over supplement themselves? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Well, a lot of guys with zinc, I mean, zinc's a really big thing at the moment, ZMA and that sort of stuff. Um, especially if you're a big meat eater, mm -hmm. um, red meat, you know, good quality red meat. Red meat's not the en enemy. Yeah. Um, you know, good lean, red meat, lamb, that sort of stuff. Your yeah, zinc levels are going to be pretty high. You know, you don't want too much zinc, you can lead to issues, so, you know, we can identify that. But there's lots of guys out there just shoving zinc into them, they don't actually need it, and they might be doing themselves a little bit damaged by, by doing that. Just doing things smarter, knowing yourself, being up to more, using this information. Um, I have for you, like, a last question. If you can have a definition of the powerful life, what will be? <laughs> That's a tricky one, Mac. Uh, a powerful life. Um, <laughs> so it's just uh, more of yeah, what you see as a good life, what's powerful for you. Um, I think a good perspective, an open perspective, the ability to synthesize information, information knowledge is empowering for sure. You know, it's all about drive, be true to yourself, don't do things in half measures, go for it, you know, we're here once, make the most of it, you know, yeah, don't do it just because other people do it, yes. create your own values, you know, it's your life. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much, Justin. Cheers. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I will link uh, all the information for the Justin and his company under the video, if you have any questions, um, just send me a message. Stay strong.